everyone, this is Jane with Barlow Herbal and happy Sunday, April 9th of 2023. Now here in the US, it is Easter Sunday. So if you celebrate Easter, I hope that this day is full of love and joy and all of the deep meaning that Easter brings for many people who celebrate Easter. Uh, I know that we are gonna have the, the kids over, the grandkids over, we're gonna play games. We're going to have a beautiful Easter dinner and uh, this is something that we always look forward to. So I hope your day um, is everything you wish. And I will tell you here in Utah, we finally have a break from the snow. We have had record snow. In fact, this season, if, you've, if you're from Utah or you've been hearing about the snow that we're, we've been having here, uh, as long as they've been recording the snowpack and the snowfall, this is way beyond anything that they've ever recorded. So we finally have a break from the snow this weekend and the weather's uh, supposed to be 70 today and um, which is beautiful and amazing. So it finally feels like spring here in Utah, which is a, which is a big deal because I think by April, it's kind of like we're all calling uncle a little bit on the cold weather and the snow and the ice and uh, we're just ready for some spring so we finally have it this weekend so this is something to be definitely grateful for and i know this is going to be an amazing hiking season for me personally um, as the weather starts to really clear up um, i'm going to get out there and get in the mountains so um, i had some really awesome awesome thoughts today and actually that throughout this weekend i had a ton of wonderful meditation time so i've got myself two pages this time. I know last week when I popped on here, I had only a little tiny bit uh, written down because so much had happened that week. And this has also been a busy week. But the interesting thing is, is I had this thought that came in and then I even had a more powerful thought, which is where I'm gonna direct this. Now, so the first thing that really, um, as I was working out and as I was going through my day, this was actually on Monday, I had this big, beautiful thought that there's a beautiful movement happening. And the thing is, is um, I think most of us can, especially if you're someone who's watching this and you've been watching for a while and you're connected to different people who are like-minded and you surround yourself with that type of energy, um, we can feel it and we can see it. So this is probably the biggest thing that came in for me. And the thought was, are we participating in it? Are we, are we participating in the beautiful movement that's happening? And, you know, I, I've said this before, I, and I wrote this down. I used to feel angst, like, what more can I do? You know, and I think that the realization that I, that I really came to pretty quickly is that we each play our own part on a bigger scale than we can even imagine. And if we are aware of the shift of the energies and all of the things these beautiful things that are happening, then we can play our part. So that was the very first big thought that came through. And then what really, really um, jumped into my awareness this week was this thought. Okay, so let's start it with this. Think about all of the things that have been happening. Now, this is not just the last three years. These are things that have been going on for decades. And for many of us, these are things that we know, systems that are broken and that don't serve the average person on this planet because there is abundance and health and wellness and abundance for everyone, every single human being. But the systems that we have been stuck in only serve a very few people. And these systems are crumbling. And for me to say that, that I am more excited than ever that this is happening is a massive understatement because I truly I am truly so excited about what is happening. So as we've been going through this at a really intense level, because these things are speeding up, I think what happens is we say to ourselves, well, what is the worst that can happen? And I even catch myself saying, well, what's the worst that can happen? And, and then I tick off all these boxes, like in the financial system, in the political system, in the school systems, in whatever systems that we're talking about, as we watch them just struggle through all of this and all this stuff being exposed, we ask ourselves, what is the worst that can happen? Because from my perspective, 
and has been for a long time is if I know what the if I have an idea or a perception of the worst that might happen, then I can be prepared and I can make sure that all the boxes are checked and I can you know move through my days with love and joy and happiness and all of that. But what I have really found is it doesn't seem to quite work that way because all of this all of the stuff we look at all of it is true it doesn't matter because it's there are a whole bunch of bad things happening there are a whole bunch of good things happening all of it's true there's a whole bunch of conspiracy theories all true a whole bunch of white hats if you will people that are behind the scenes that are going to save the day all of these things they're all true. So here's the question to ask yourself. What is the best thing that can happen? What is the best that can happen? And if you shift from what is the worst that can happen to what is the best thing that can happen, everything in your life changes. And that I real I realized that these, you know, the, the first start of the pandemic I just kind of watched like, holy cow. And I actually thought it would be over pretty quickly. And it wasn't, it kept dragging and dragging and dragging. And, and the energy of fear that came from so many people on the planet was, was palatable. You could feel it, you could feel that energy. And I've noticed as I've pulled myself out of that, I've pulled myself out of that fear energy very quickly because I was afraid of, other things besides the virus and I've said this before many times but as I pulled myself out of that I realized that there really is a war going on it's almost like and you've probably heard this before from other places and other sources it's like the third world war and we're smack dab in the middle of it and it's not it is a physical war on some fronts there are there are physical wars going on there's protests and there's literally wars going on but this is more of a spiritual war and what I have come to realize pretty heavily and deeply especially this last week is I don't I don't want to put my focus on anything outside of me that I feel like gives me any kind of angst because the thing is all the things that confirm our belief systems they're all probably true um, and all the things that we hear that are good that are happening, all true. But what is, what is really at stake here is ourselves, our spiritual self. And this is where we get to take a second, we get to disconnect from everything and tune into ourself and really see where we are in this spiritual war. And I've actually noticed on a few, there's a couple of people that I follow on, um, I, I look at Instagram every once in a while, even though um, I, Malia on our team, she's amazing. She does all the posting on there. And, but I'll go on there and I'll look, especially if sometimes I just feel like I need to disconnect. And I follow some account like art accounts. And there's a couple of accounts I follow just because they do confirm my belief systems, right? I, I'm 100% I'm guilty of this as anyone. And I've noticed that there's been more people that are starting to even post about this exact fact. I'm going to stop giving my energy and my attention and my spiritual self even to the things that I can see that confirm my belief system. I, I'm going to instead, I am going to turn inward. I'm going to focus on raising my children. I'm going to focus on making my home a happy home. I'm going to focus on taking care of my family financially. And I'm going to disconnect from that because that is where we really gain back our power and, and we win this spiritual war. And I, and I know from everything that I see and the, and the people I watch um, that, that, that this is what's happening. So, so let me just kind of read some of these thoughts that um, I wrote down and, and maybe I can expand on them as I go. So anything that takes you away from yourself, this is what we need to dis disconnect from. So anything that takes you away from you, from who you know you are, 
you know, and I've said this before in other videos and I've gotten a teeny bit of flack for it. Like I believe you even need to disconnect yourself from people, even if they're people in your own family. Um, and I'm not saying get rid of them completely, especially people in your family. Um, but anything that takes you away from yourself, anything or anyone, you need to move away from that. We need to get back. Getting back to source is getting back to ourself, getting back to God, getting back to our creator, getting back to that higher consciousness, whatever you want to call that. It's all the same thing. We can call it different names. It's the same thing. When we get back to source, we are getting back to ourselves. That is where the true power comes in. We need to constantly remind ourselves to go within. All the answers are here. All the answers, they're all here. So I think that we can start to create magic every day. We can, we, because we are in this reality, we're in this physical world, we have bills to take care of, we have families to take care of, you know, we have emails to answer, we all have these things. But I think if we started every day, and sometimes every moment when we find ourselves getting a little lost, asking ourselves, what is our intention? What is the intention of this moment, of this day? So think about, think about this. Our intention literally changes um, our biology. So you might not think about that, but one of my best examples, and I wrote down, your intention changes your food, it changes your day, it changes your time, and it changes your energy. So think about when you say a blessing on your, on your food and you give thanks and you bless it to nourish your body. You are literally changing the molecular structure of your food. You are changing the energy of your food with the simple intention of, of blessing it. So you can change the molecular structure of anything. And you know, you might've heard this a long time ago, the law of attraction, uh, what you think about comes, about comes about, you know, that I would say, you know, this is something that I heard this, this week. And, and I would say that the, the, the majority of people still don't, on this planet, still don't realize their absolute power that they have over the creation of their life, their time, their day, the intention that they have and put into everything. And so right now, those of us who see it and understand quantum physics and the way these things work, we now have a clear energy field. There's, there's hardly any competition out there. You don't have to wait three years to manifest whatever it is that you want to manifest. It can happen so fast. So what do you want your experience to be in every situation? That is a question you need to ask yourself. What is it that you want? What experience do you want to have? Remind yourself to have the most magical journey along the way. And I will tell you, one of the things that happened to me this week that I know because I decided, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna remind myself with one little thing. So I had to run an errand. I had to go in and get, so many of you know that I do some, I do some painting. There's some of my paintings behind there. And I needed to go get some canvases because I'll, I'll buy a few and it'll last me for a while. And it was at the end of my day on Friday. And, um, it was a busy week. I was a little bit tired, but I knew I wanted to paint this weekend. So I, I was like, I was I, funny enough. I was feeling a little tiny bit grumpy about having to go into this, the craft store to go get my, uh, to go get my canvases. And then I, I literally, as I pulled into the parking lot, I had this like, okay, all these things you just wrote down this week, Jane, you need to think about your intention and your experience and what you put out. So I said to myself, you're gonna go in and you're gonna find exactly what you need and it's gonna be fast and quick. There's not gonna be any lines for you to wait, wait, wait through and it's gonna be the most magical experience. So I, with my new intention, I got out of my car, I walked into the store, I walked back to where the frames were or the canvases were and I had my cart 
And as I started to put the canvases in my cart, there were big signs that said all the canvases on that day were 30% off. So I was like, okay. So I filled up my cart, I walked to the front, there was nobody in line. There was a young girl smiling at one of the cash registered. She waved me over, she had a big smile on her face. I had the most magical interaction and I got in my car with my canvases and I came home. And it was a simple little tiny thing. And it might have happened exactly that way anyway, but my attitude shifted and made it the most pleasant experience. And I think that we forget to have these magical moments because we are intentional human beings. And if we can put our intention on what is the best outcome that can happen with all of the stuff that's happening? What is the best outcome that can happen in my day to day? What is the best outcome that can happen in my interaction with my spouse, with my kids? What is the best outcome? And I think if we start to funnel our attention into that uh, and, and really go within and figure, figure out what is it that we need to do to keep ourselves in a place of grateful calmness and a realization that we are the ones who have the power and the control over what we put into the universe and what we get back. And that is what it's all about. So I, I hope some of this resonated with you. I was like, to me that felt like the most, um, the most magical thing to really think about and move forward. And in fact, yesterday, Saturday, I had a really great conversation with my nephew, Ben. Um, I sent him a copy of my book. Uh, he has been so incredibly supportive and, um, you know, he's written several books and he's much younger than me, but it's such a fun, it's such a fun relationship that we have, how we are cheerleaders and support each other. And we have the most amazing conversation based on this concept. And I will tell you, when, when you really start to live your life with the attitude of what is the best thing that can happen as you walk through this experience and you walk through your day and you, you might even think about what's going on in the world and, and just think to yourself, well, what's the best thing that can happen? And live your life from that place. I think that's where we shift everything. And when you start to get into those little dark times or those little troubling moments, literally change your state. Step out of those feelings, step out of um, what, you're, what you're thinking and, and shift and watch what happens. Watch the magic happen. So I hope you have an absolutely beautiful Easter, a beautiful Sunday and a beautiful week ahead. Um, if you got to the end of this and you watched my video from last week and you wrote a review, on our website. Um, first of all, thank you so, so much. We had a wonderful, wonderful rush of lovely, lovely reviews. And in the email that is accompanying this video, there will be a, um, the name of the person who won. And actually, I decided yesterday when I pulled out the name, I decided I was gonna give away five, five books. I was so overwhelmed with how many beautiful reviews came in. And I will tell you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I think that we, we appreciate uh, services and people and, and sometimes we forget to reach out and give gratitude. And that felt like a rush of just warm gratitude that got flowed over us. And, um, and I thank you. I thank you so much for taking the time to do that. And um, I hope you're one of the ones who won. So, if you, you'll also be getting a personal email from me. So if, you do, if you're not on our email list, um, you'll be getting an email from me on Monday morning. Uh, that's tomorrow. And uh, also it will be in the email that's accompanying this uh, video. So thanks for watching today, you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, hit the thumbs up, it always helps the algorithms. And we will see you next week.